Three reasons most of you are never going to be rich. One, you do not identify opportunity. The opportunity we are discussing now, which happened on the 12th of March, where I bought 600 grand of Bitcoin, which is now worth in excess of 7 million. I've done zero work, zero. I've turned 600K into 7 million just because I identified an opportunity. It took me 10 minutes. You're th sitting out there thinking, if I just had a million, if I could just become a millionaire, that's how easy it is. Now, you probably didn't have 600K to buy Bitcoin like I did, fine. You could have put 600 in and had 70 grand. 70,000 you could have had from 600. But you do not identify opportunities. This is the first thing you do not do. You do not pay attention to the world around you. You just live in your little bubble. You're too busy arguing with your ugly girlfriend, too busy stressed out about some dumb shit, too busy sleeping in. You don't pay attention. You're not perspicacious. This is why you miss opportunities. It's the first reason you're never gonna be rich. Second reason you're never gonna be rich. Don't buy a house, rent a house. They're like, oh, but isn't that wasting money? No, what's wasting money is buying a house, giving huge interest rates to a bank, and then tying yourself to one geographical location. The reason humans are the number one species on the planet is because of our adaptability, the ability to adapt. I can go anywhere on earth. I can go wherever the money is, where the money resides. If the money's residing in Japan, I can go to Japan. If I need to go to Singapore, I can go to Singapore. I can go live in Los Vegas. Wherever I'm gonna get paid, I can go, and I'll just rent, 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 rent. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't got nothing tying me down. It ain't gonna take years for me to buy or sell something. I ain't gonna worry about all the upkeep and property maintenance. Buying a house is foolish. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do own this house because I wanted it to be exactly the way I want it, but I'm rich, rich, right? You aren't. So you shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, you do not need to buy a house. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. It's a psychological thing that your parents have told you. If you own a home, if you own a home, if you own a home. And then I tell people this and they go, oh yeah, but you can always rent it out. You're gonna spend 300,000 on a house so that you can rent out for 800 a month. And then every time the boiler breaks, you're gonna spend 500 fixing the boiler and they're gonna damage your house. And by the time they leave, you're gonna need a whole bunch of repairs and they're gonna be calling you all the time for hassle and stress if they even pay the rent on time. You think that's a good spend of 300 grand? Do you know what else you could do with 300 grand? Buy Bitcoin. Revolutionary. Your real estate could be on the blockchain instead of out here. Because when it's on the blockchain, it can be sold instantly. You ever tried to sell a house? Takes years. Ever tried to sell Bitcoin? Takes seconds. So this is the second reason you're never gonna be rich. Because all your ideas and concepts of how wealth is created are outdated. Three, the third and most important reason you're never gonna be rich is because you do not have a plan. You do not have a plan to get rich. Nothing good has ever happened on accident. Have you ever met a guy who's just got covered in muscle, he's got a six pack? You're like, hey bro, how'd you do that? You've been going to the gym. No, nah, man, I'm just, it was just an accident. Was, oops. No, he built that body purposefully. He did things specifically to get the result he desired. He ate a specific way. He trained a specific amount. He knew exactly what he was doing. Every rich person knows exactly what they're doing. People who are making money know exactly how to do it. You're sitting there saying, I want to be rich. You don't even have a plan to get rich. How the f are you going to get rich on accident? How's that gonna happen? Oops, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Never! This is all you can control on Earth. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind. And life's gonna blow you around and you might land somewhere good, you might land in dog shit, nobody knows. Everybody understands that you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands that. Dan Pena. Everybody understands that. <clears throat> but they understand that and still hang around with losers. True. It's like, that is that not the ultimate mark of being a dumbass? If you understand that that's the truth and you don't create your friendship and create your, your reality, yes. then you're a loser. I had a guy join the war room the other day, my private network, and he joined. And we have multimillionaires in there. We have a billionaire in there. I, I bought a Bugatti purely to add Bugatti owners to my network. So we have Bugatti owners in there. We have guys connected to the point where I can't even say who on, on YouTube, right? A guy joined. He's 19. He ain't nothing. He goes, look, I know I don't have any value to give, but I'm just here to learn and I, I understand that if I stand a chance of escaping the matrix, you're the man I need to be around. And I was like, you're absolutely intelligent. Instead of spending 19 sitting around playing video games, that's the smartest thing you could have ever done. Sure. He, his, his life's going to change forever, right? Because he's around people who understand. So all the people out here who sit there and go, yeah, you're the sum of the five people you hang around with the most. Yeah. And then go hang around with dickheads. <laughs> you're, you're an idiot. But most people are like that. Yeah. Because they're idiots, right? You have to create your reality. And there's nothing wrong with saying to people, you know what? I've outgrown you. You know what? I'm on a different path to you. You know what? X, Y, Z. Sometimes you've got to cut people off because if you don't create your reality, they infect your energy. I have a saying, and it's not a very, it's not a very remarkable saying, but I use it all the time. And that's dumb shit leads to dumb shit. And I say that for an example, like let's say you, you, you leave your car unlocked. 
You're unprofessional, you leave your car unlocked. Now it gets stolen. Now, now here's a police case. Now, that dumb shit leads to dumb shit. So when I'm around people who do dumb shit or unprofessional mm. things, or they're not smooth, or they're not, they don't get their shit right, or they're negative, that I refuse because it comes true. Yeah. It's like you, you make it true. If I hang around with your stupid ass long enough, all the stupid <laughs> shit you're true. talking about is going to happen to me. Yeah. So it's like you it's speak yeah. it into existence. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I refuse to be around it. Dumb shit leads to dumb shit. Everyone I talk to is such a fucking winner that when I sit around, <laughs> all I could do is accidentally win. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. Bam! More yeah. money! You have to be very, very selective and you have to very, very carefully create your reality. And that's why I created The War Room because it's a global network, but you have to be global and you have to be online nowadays because if you're a normal dude living a normal life, you're never going to meet winners in day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Because they're all slaves. Yeah. So you have to find that guy in Singapore who's a winner, those two guys in Dubai who's a winner, one in London. Like, it's, it's hard now. Yeah. It's getting harder and harder. I'm going to tell you how to get rich. If you're a scientist, you never, ever wake up, go into the lab, <clears throat> pour the right chemicals and fix the problem. That doesn't happen. You go into the lab, you try some shit, it fucks up. You try some new shit, it fucks up. And you keep fucking around until something kind of works. So mistakes, eventually something goes well. So I say this to people, look, how many ways have you tried to earn money? You earn money X way. How many other ways have you tried? Because you need to try a whole ton of ways and you got to make a bunch of mistakes like a, like a scientist does to find a thing that works. And everyone's heard this before, right? And then they'll say, they have two hurdles to do in that. One, they're lazy. And two, they'll say, well, I have ideas, but I don't know how to start. Or I have ideas, but I need money to start. So then what you have to do, and this is one of the things I teach on CobraTape.com in my hustlers university is, you have to look at your business ideas and your plans and find a way to remove the need for money to attempt them. So my philosophy on business is this, any business in the world that could genuinely work could genuinely work without investment. People get this idea in their head, I need loads of money. So, yep. and every single business I've tried, I will find a way to launch it for effectively free. And yep. if it starts to make money, then maybe I'll put money in. Or then maybe I have some balance sheet, I can go to an investor and get money. But everyone has this idea they need money first. If you were in a room with ice cream experts, and all they talked about was ice cream, how to make it, how to store it, how to move it, the different flavors, the size of the cartons it's in, how much it costs to produce. If all they talked about was ice cream and you were in that room, sooner or later, when someone comes to you to ask you something about ice cream, you're gonna know the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna accidentally know some shit about ice cream. If you're in a room of people who only talk about money, so you need to be around people who are about it. And the problem is with the people out here, everyone has a dream, but not many people have a plan. A dream and a plan are different things. When you say to guys, do you want to be rich? Yeah, I want to be rich. How will you get rich? Uh, yeah, one day when a shit comes in. So you can have a dream with no plan. When's the last time something fantastic has ever happened on accident? When's the last time you've seen a big jacked dude and you say, hey man, how'd you get so jacked? And he goes, don't know, oops. Dunno. <laughs> Dunno. It just, it just happened. No, he planned it. He went to the gym, he worked for it, he ate a certain way. He planned his meals. He had to make it happen. It's exactly the same with getting rich. You need a plan to get rich, right? Most people have, everyone out there has a dream, but very few people have a plan.